Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of a, they actually call it a Boston shadow. And I don't know if he wants the dark shadows or just the uh, configuration of the two items. So I might make a couple of videos, make one later about maybe trying. It'd be a little difficult, but you could do that. So what I'm going to do is always, I'm going to, uh, set the uh, duplicate distance on six inches to get that out of the way. And I'm just going to set your uh, distance on your duplicate distance on zero, zero. Uh, it just makes life so much easier. And then I'm going to left click, right click and get an outline of the item. I'm going to hit the plus key and I'm going to, I'm going to make several copies. And the reason I do that is, just in case I mess one up, I don't have to go back and open the file up. I've got an extra copy right there. And I'm not gonna use those colors. I'm gonna use like a gold and a blue just to kind of show him. So first thing I would do is make a duplicate of it and nudge it up. And then take this one and make it, let's try to get to close to that blue. Let's say that. Take, let's take away the outline by right-clicking on your item. Now, I've still got this one, and I've been nudging, so I haven't changed anything. And then I'm going to take my block shadow tool, and I'm just going to barely move it just off-center of the other one. Now, you see it's black, but we're going to go to object and break the black shadow apart. We're going to take our shadow, and we're going to make it that blue. And we can do that by, hopefully the Smart Fill tool will allow us to do that. Uh, get your eyedropper, pick that color. We'll have to do each individual letter, but that's not a big deal. And what I'm doing, I'm just getting the color of the drop shadow. Now, I really don't need this one anymore, but I always leave it. And then I'm going to take this and let's make it a, a, orange, or a yellow. I'm going to hold down the control key and add a little red, make it a little uh, more like the drawing. I'm going to right click and take away the outline. And then you see it's behind. So I'm going to go to object order front of page. And there you have kind of the same. This is a lot easier text than this would be. It's going to have a lot less shadowing, but that's how I would do it. And, uh, you know, you could have changed and made the offset more or less. But I think he wants a, and a just really quick one way you could do it would be to take your, let's see if we can't get the word out of here, take your text and let's group it together and grab the interactive fill tool. Whoop. And let's go from the top down, but let's change this color to a gray and see we kind of got now a little bit of a shadow and now let's zoom it up. So you got a little bit different look and I don't know if it'll allow you to do it while you're on the subject. Yeah, because it's only going to change that. So you could change your, your gray output and see how it's right up here. It's still blue. You know, you could change your order and bring that down. That's pretty close. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.